Hello YouTubers, today I'm beaming directly from my car. The reason being is we've got a blizzard outside and it's raining and I'm going to fight the elements for this particular vlog. Now a few weeks back I did a, a vlog on Mary Ann Bailey who was a victim of a disaster and it was all about gales at that day and we've got a similar story that relates to a, a young boy and with me I've got Mark Nicholson who's got all the information and in our usual manner we will actually visit the grave of the deceased. Mark, thank you for joining us. No problem, what a lovely day. Yeah. So uh, yeah, as you say there, there was um, obviously the incident involving the wind and the death of a, of a local child and um, when I first watched that it actually brought to mind a similar incident that happened in Bradford in 1916 on New Year's Day. Um, that was a very, very, very windy day and it made the local news. So you've got like the headline there, Gale in Bradford. There was all sorts happening all across the north of England and Bradford um, bore more than its fair share of the, you know, of the brunt as it were. Um, there was things like people getting injured by wooden hoardings getting blown over um gable ends were falling off of houses um people were thinking that the crashes were loud enough for it to have been a tram car blown over um the guys back in those days were made of sterner stuff than we are perhaps today it was a saturday it was new year's day 1916 and um they tried to go ahead with all of the local football matches but they soon got called off it was a really 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 bad day in terms of weather and in terms of fatalities there was just one and it was a child a local child and it's a very very sad story so what we're going to do is we're going to leave the warmth and the dry conditions of this car we're going to go out into the rain um, to bring our viewers to the site of this tragedy so we're now on a very, very noisy and busy corner of the uh, outer section of the city centre. And behind me, on what used to be East Parade in Bradford, is the former St Mary's Catholic Church. It's now in use as a banqueting hall. And we've got an archive picture here, an illustration of how it used to look. And what isn't in this picture in this space here, but we can see it now, is a former cinema building. This cinema was called the Scala, and as you can see, they're using the cinema name over there in the sweet extension. That's currently getting fitted out, so we've not been able to gain access, sadly. But going back to the uh, storm of New Year's Day 1916, it was that cinema building which was the scene of the tragedy which killed a local child. If we go back to the archive picture, you can see at either end, stone crosses. An eyewitness on that very night said that there was a huge flash of lightning and a large crash. And what happened is the stone cross was originally up there in the top corner of that roof. It became dislodged and it fell through the roof of the cinema and then struck the child. The masonry itself was said to be about half a ton in weight, so it does look like the uh, the child was killed instantly. Right, shall we have a closer look? Yeah. <laughs> so that's where the word Scala comes from. Yeah, it's um, a throwback to the old cinema days. I have actually been in here. Um, it used to be a community centre I'm talking about 15 years ago and I do have photographs of the interior. The upper section was preserved like a preserved part of the old cinema. I understand that all of those old projection portals and bits of, um, you know, early 20th century cinema architecture, that will all be removed so there'll be no trace of the cinema left. We can include in this video a few of the pictures that I have of how it used to look. Thank you. 
So three days after the storm tragedy, there was an inquest in Bradford. And I'm going to read a few extracts from the inquest itself. The victim of the disaster was a boy named Albert Edward Ross, age 12, who was killed by an ornamental stone cross on St Mary's Catholic Church, East Parade, falling through the roof of the picture house while an audience was assembling for an early performance. A boy named Herbert Scott, aged 11, who accompanied the deceased, said they were sat in the centre of the hall. About 10 minutes after their arrival, there was a sudden crash and something fell near to where he was sitting. He rushed away as he was frightened. At the time of the accident, the lights of the building were turned on at full. John Thomas Miller, a foundry man, age 51, who was also present at the picture house, spoke of seeing a large piece of masonry fall through the roof and glass falling about in the hall. People and children were rushing about and the witness went to the place where the piece of masonry fell. He found the deceased seated on the floor, the piece of masonry lying across his legs. There was also a cut on the head and the deceased seemed to be quite dead. With assistance, the stone was removed and the deceased extricated. There had been checks to the church and the cross on the roof in the years leading up to the incident and it was found that it was quite secure. Um, the inquest concluded that there was no negligence or anything on the part of the church or its owners and the final verdict of the inquest was accidental death. Right, so we've just arrived at the Bowling Cemetery and we've uh, located the grave here. Still wet and windy, I'm afraid. Well, you know, what an absolute tragedy. 12 year old with a new year ahead of him. New Year's Day, 1916, and his whole life ahead of him and a, a freak accident happens and you know, cut off in not even the prime of his life. But he's here, and today, we remember him. Rest in peace. Has that torch, is that torch any good? It is difficult yeah. to read. It says sleep little children to come. On to me. On to me. Rest in peace. So there's the chapel and just across there I believe, yeah, just across there there are the gates. The Sangster Way gates which comes off Ruling Lane I believe. Grave is there. Chapel's like a good idea.